Hello again. In this video, we're going to be looking at some more advanced uh, functions within um, spreadsheets or within Excel here. Um, we're going to be doing uh, some four different kind of functions that are built in, uh, which help us improve the efficiency of writing our formulas. All right. So just to summarize the keywords again, we've got a spreadsheet. This is the spreadsheet and we're on a, a particular worksheet here. That's another keyword worksheet. Um, Last video, we were on the basics formulas worksheet, and now I'm on the advanced formulas worksheet. Okay, so uh, the worksheet. Oh, all right, that's another word. Uh, all formulas start with an equals. Uh, we use formulas to help us calculate an answer. They use cell references and an operator, and I recommended that you use the numpad. Uh, the numpad is, again, on the right-hand side of your uh, keyboard. Try and get used to using it. A lot of my students like using the top row of the keyboard. Avoid it. It's slow. Um, all right, so I've got two teams now. We've got team one with Anthony, Beth, Charlie, Deb, and Ethan, and team two, Franklin, George, Harlem, Isabel, and Julie. Now, what I want to know is who, which team scored the most, which uh, player scored the maximum number, the highest number, which student scored the lowest score, and what was the average score for each team. So if you remember last time, I used a cell room, so that was equals, and then I had to click on each one. Now imagine I had a whole class of students. It would take me ages to do that. So there's a shortcut. I can use this auto sum feature, or I can just simply go equals. Remember all formulas start with an equals. Type sum, open my brackets, and then highlight all the numbers I want to add up. Close my brackets. There we go. That easy. I'll show you again. You do equals, sum, highlight them all, close my brackets, and I'm done. The alternative is to use this auto sum feature. So if I click on auto sum, it highlights the data for me, puts in the correct for, uh, function in there. Remember, sum is used to add up numbers in a range. Okay, there's another keyword for you there, range. This is my range of data. There's another keyword, data, range of data. All right, so let's do the same thing for max. Now, if I want to find the highest number, I can use the function max. So I'm going to go equals max and then highlight the range of data I want, close my brackets, and I'm good to go. So the highest number was 12, if we scan down here, yes it was, Deb scored 12. Let's look at this one, equals uh, max, highlight the data, close my brackets, and there we go. The maximum score, the highest score was 13, and Isabel scored 13, I can see that from there. Let's do the same thing for the smallest number. For the smallest we use min, equals min, highlight the range of data, and close the brackets. The lower score was six, and yes it was, Charlie scored six. Let's do this again, sum, highlight the data. Oops, I did sum, why did I do sum? Should have been min. Min, highlight the range of data, and I got seven. Next one, equals, this time we're looking for the average. So rather than adding up the total and dividing, I'm going to do average, highlight the data, the range of data. There we've got average, 9.4. Let's do it again, equals average, highlight the range of data, close it off, average, 9.2. And that's it. We used inbuilt functions to help us. We used sum to work out the total. We used max to find the highest number within a range of data. We used min to find the smallest number within a range of data. And we used average to find the average score from a range of data. Sum for total, max for the highest, min for the lowest, and average for the average. And that's it for this video. We'll look at some more advanced skills in the next one. See you soon.